bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, Isaac and Rebekah. Our scriptures are found in the book of Genesis, chapter 24, verses 50 through 54 and verses 59 through 67. Real people are real people, past, present, and future. And I truly believe that it is very important to remember this as we study and eavesdrop in on the historical lives of our brothers and sisters of faith that we read about in the Bible. Personalities character and agendas don't magically change and become holier than thou just because someone else has God honoring or God guided intentions. As a matter of fact, if one person or group says that they are on a mission from the Lord, others have been known to see it as some kind of weakness and an opportunity to manipulate or take advantage of the situation. Eleazar, Abraham's trusted servant, had faithfully gone on and carried out the assignment that he was sent to do. He had prayed to the God of his master Abraham for help and received a miracle. He humbled himself further, showing respect as he thanked the one and only true and living God for success. Isaac's cousin, the virgin Rebecca, proved herself to be wife material and a good thing to be found. Now the meeting between Eleazar, representing Abraham, and Bethuel, Abraham's brother, Rebekah's father, needed to take place. Rebekah, being a daughter, could not carry on the name of the family bloodline, but she was yet valuable to the household. Eleazar didn't want to play games. This was a sober matter, and he needed to know if Rebecca's father and brother believed and accepted what was obviously God's will, and would comply with it. They agreed that it was God's will, and responded that they had no say in the matter. The servant, having completed his assignment, thanked God again for quick divine help and now saw no reason why he and Rebecca shouldn't head back first thing in the morning. He gave gifts of wealth both to Rebecca and her family, knowing that God had moved in all of their lives. What he didn't know is that God was also setting up the timing so that when he returned with Rebecca, Isaac, her soon-to-be husband, would be out taking a walk so that they could meet. Remember, the journey one way was about 450 miles, and though that's quite a distance to go even in a car, God can and does move in many places, thousands of miles apart for one great purpose, all at the same time. No one tried to manipulate God's move in this lesson, and all things fell in place as they should have. We too have a choice, God's plan, or our own version, and the way that we think things should go or turn out. Which plan 
will you choose? We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.